today I am <clears throat> putting some mulch down. So what I have here is way over there. There's a pile. Pile there of some old grass hay that was cut. And was just the waste of some goats that I had for a while and it's been sitting there for a little over a year um, so I'm going to try to use that as a mulch um, and see how it is you can tell I've already got some down here right in there it's kind of hard to see because it blends in but we're going to give this a shot to see if I can use that as a weed barrier help hold moisture and there'll be some good fertilizer in there um, good nutrients so that is what I am working on I'm gonna get these three rows done because I've got all the weeds out and then I gotta keep working down a little bit at a time um, so yeah that is what I'm working on today
<clears throat> I got all that done. If, wondering why I put it out in the middle of the row before I put it next to the plants is because it was some of it was quite big and needed to be broken up. I didn't want to just dump it over the plants, take a chance of damaging them. So yeah, we're gonna we got a lot more to go. I've got to still go through and pull the weeds here all the way down. Um, I've got other stuff to do today, before, so I can't get to that just yet. But to start, um, we'll see too because I'm going to water all this in today because it's supposed to get to high 90s, um, maybe even get to 100. Um, so I need to water it. You can tell the corn's already needing a drink. Um, anyway, so we're going to see kind of how much. Uh, we, we got probably over a week before there's a chance of rain. Um, so I'll have to water again. So it'll be neat to see how much better this does with the mulch on it to help with water retention. Versus out here where I don't have that mulch yet. <clears throat> So it'll be a neat little experiment to see how well that does. Um, you know, sometimes uh, you think you might have to get certain types of mulch and uh, certain things to, you know, go buy stuff. But you'd be amazed what you can do. Like I said, that was just some uh, grass, plains blue stem, other native grasses around here that was cut for hay and was not obviously eaten all the way up gone through and I scraped it all out and let it sit there and now I've got free mulch you know dual dual purpose so if any of y'all have animals and feeding them grass and scrape some of that out let it sit for a while and boom it's a, it's a fertilizer too because there's you know manure in there and everything be real good real good for it so also i don't know if you can see here those are about to bloom these are light red kidney beans that's what the no no those are jacob's cattle beans sorry i was wrong it's just new i've never eaten them people said they're quite good so i'm excited but yeah you can see there they're about to bloom. Get them a good drink today. And uh, we'll see how they do. And they're probably not too thrilled with this hot water, uh, hot weather, but you never know. Certain type of beans handle it much better than others. I really only deal with bush beans because, like I said, you know, it's, I don't know what, May 20th, May something. Um, and, uh, you know, we're about to hit 100. We were in the 90s the last two days. It was 58 this morning. It'll get to 98 at least, I bet. So, 40 degree swing. So, I don't, I have to be very selective in what plants I plant here. Um, you know, another reason I did corn in between like I've done here is because to offer shade for the beans to get them out of that sun because most plants that say full sun don't necessarily mean the kind of full sun we get because it's from uh, as you can tell there's no trees it's from the minute the sun rises all the way to the minute the sun sets here so I found even black-eyed peas, some jade green beans, which can handle some serious heat. Um, they all do far better if they get at least half a day's shade. So I'm using the corn as a shade. Plus, the green, the both the beans will help bring nitrogen to them. So there's a. Uh, you know, that's the old three sisters type planting. I don't really deal much with the squash because then I get so crowded in there. I can't really get to it 
at times. So it's the first year trying this this way. Um, one other thing that's unique about this is I have two different varieties of corn in here planted at different times. Um, that was uh, done on purpose. Um, obviously, I'd hoped the first planting all came up, but it was an older seed, and uh, and so I didn't get as much germination as I wanted, and so I waited a month and planted a different variety, and I'll show you all a trick when it obviously gets close to time of how I can keep them from cross-pollinating because uh, they have a same day maturity. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm working on.